guys, so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me. My lighting looks a little dark today. Sorry about that. What, what is this? I have my beanie on because we're going to like a pumpkin patch and it is freezing outside so I have a good reason today. I'm going to show you guys my outfit at the end of the video. I have my shirt and jeans laid out on the bed so oh look at my tank top look it says young and wild <laughs> isn't that so cute it's from H&M I have the other style too <laughs> I just think they're so cute all it's missing is the polished so anyway um yeah let's put some makeup on my face I do know that I want to use this Too Faced palette that I got yesterday it's really pretty and it looks like it feels like it's going to be really good they seem very pigmented and soft so I want to play with this guy. And that's pretty much all that I know I want to use for foundation. I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way. No, this is not sponsored by Too Faced. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I have been loving this foundation brush. It's from Morphe, but it doesn't have any numbers or anything on it. It's just like a angled kabuki brush, like a flat top. It's really, really good for foundation. So first I need to put some primer on. What do I want to use? I have a little fuzzy. Um, first I'm going to start out with my Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray as per usual. And then for primer, ugh, I need to use a matte one because this Too Faced foundation kind of gets a little greasy on me throughout the day, but it just looks so good. So I'm going to use my Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. I like this one. You guys know my chit chat get ready with me's are always extremely long, so this is your warning, although you guys probably already saw the number at the bottom when you clicked on this video, so I'm thinking it's going to be like 23 minutes. That's usually about my norm. Let's see how close I am. Okay, so that's good for primer. I'm using the shade Warm Beige in the Born This Way. It's like the perfect... Look at my finger. It's like the perfect shade for me right now because I have zero tan. I'm like super pale. So I'm just going to dot this on. Oh, I went a little heavy there. That's some heavy dotting. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend it in. I like this brush because it covers so much area on your face and I just like to kind of push it in at first, press it in, and then I go in and like blend a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do one layer of foundation because I don't need like a totally flawless face to go pick pumpkins. Okay, that should be good. And for concealer, let's try out a new one. I'm gonna try out the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I'm gonna use the shade Medium. I feel like I should have gotten a lighter one, but this might be okay. Ooh, looks like the coverage is gonna be good. Oh, this is a good shade. Cover up that melasma. Okay. Look like a little warrior princess. Um, and then I'm going to blend that out with a G2 from Morphe. A clean one. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. This is, this is a shocker. I tried this concealer once before and I liked it. I didn't have it on very long though, only for a few hours, so today I'm going to put it to the test. We'll see how it holds up. That looks a little bit, oh, it's like greasy. It looks very like luminous, which, oh, we do not need that. So let me go in with powder. Oh, geez. It almost looks like it has like a luminosity to it, which I do not usually want that under my eyes. So, okay, let's set this and see how it works out. I'm going to use my NARS Crystal Powder as usual. 
I do not need some shiny ass under eyes that is not cute. I've never heard anyone say that about this concealer, but dang. That shit is glowing. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. I kind of, the thing came off. Um, this is in the shade 55 Beige. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and kind of put this everywhere else. Okay, so that is good for the face. So I'm going to prime my lids. You guys know the drill. And I'm going to go off camera and fill in my brows, and then I will be right back. So I'm going to start out with this Too Faced palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Reindeer, which is this just like very nice matte light brown. And I'm going to use my Sigma E40 as always. And I'm just going to run this through the old crease. Ooh, that's pigmented. I can't get over this left brow. It's seriously. Do you see that? Like, what is wrong with you, left brow? I'm going to have to redo it. This brow is doing things to my life today. This brow is ruining my life. And I'm going to go in with, hmm, I think I'm going to go in with this pink shade because I don't want the eyes to be too dark. Oh, that's pretty. It's not as pink as I thought it was going to be. This is just going to be one of my traditional eye looks. I'm just trying out the palette. I don't want my eyes to be too anything today because I'm not going to a ball. I'm just going to a pumpkin patch. Okay, and then on the outer part of my lid, I'm going to start out with this shade right here. It's called After Hours. It's my, like, favorite type of shade. It's like a mid-tone brown with a ton of, like, not shimmer, but, like, satin. It's, like, super satin, like this. Mmm, that's so pretty. It's like a bronzy brown. not as dark as I would like so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this guy this like olive green it's called don't settle just mixing them together how do I feel about that I'm gonna also mix in a little bit of this guy this darker brown this one's like a I think it might be a matte brown just to deepen things up a little bit And then I'm going to go back in with my E40 just to blend those edges a little bit. And I'm going to dip back into that dark brown shade. It's really dark and it's really pigmented, so I'm going to be careful. And I'm just going to deepen up the outer crease. On my brow bone, I'm going to take Let It Snow with a Morphe M521 brush. This shade's a little bit powdery. Like when I dip into it, I get a lot of fallout on the palette, like not on my eyes, you know what I mean? It's kind of powdery. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with ColourPop Overboard. It's like a dark coppery brown, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. Look how pigmented that is. This is like one of the best ones. This possibly might be my favorite one. 
Okay, I'm going to grab a Morphe E36, and I'm going to go in with Don't Settle, and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Paper Roses, which is the one that I used on the inner part, and I'm going to put that on the inner part. I like this palette. All the shadows are really nice. You know what? I want a little bit of this new ColourPop shade, Thirsty Girl. I just want to put a little tiny bit of this on the outer part. I just want some of that, like, life. I want that life on my eyes. So just taking it on my finger, this shade is extremely pigmented, so be careful. I'm just going to tap a little bit of that on. Oh yeah, that's good. Yes, that's just what it needed. Just a little bit. I'm also going to take some of this on my lower lash line just to add a little bit of kick. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to put on... Do I have a new mascara to try? I don't think so. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I've been using this mascara every day. I kind of love it. I didn't love it when I first tried it, but once it dried out a little bit, I really like it. Like that's just barely one coat. It separates really nicely and it gives length which is what I want in a mascara. Okay, on my inner corner, I'm going to take this, where did I put it? This ColourPop shadow in Valley Girl. This is the one that I had on the inner part of my lid in my last video. I'm going to put some of this on my inner corner just because I think it'll add a nice little touch. Okay, and I think that that is pretty much it for the eyes. So I'm going to back you guys up, and we're going to finish the face. Oh, look at that brow. Oof. Okay, to contour and bronze a little bit, I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter. It gets so powdery. And I'm going to use this It Cosmetics. Oh, I thought my camera shut off. It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Number 8 Brush. One of the best brushes I've ever used in my life. This brush is amazing. I love it so much. And I'm not contouring. I'm just kind of warming. Warming up the old face. I feel like I have a new blush that I want to use. Oh, I'll use this guy. This is Kinky from Urban Decay. I've been wanting to try this. So... We'll try it today. Okay, and for a highlighter, I'm gonna use Max O oh Darling because I'm just addicted to this. And the greatest brush for highlighting ever, ever, ever created is this Anastasia number A23 brush. Oh my God, this brush is awesome for contouring, setting the under eyes. I just ordered two more. This brush, everybody should have in their collection. It's so, so good. Oh my God, look at that color. <sighs> Why is highlighting so gratifying? I have no idea. Okay, I think, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm good with that. I'm going to use Plastics from ColourPop. This is one of their new um, lip colors that's in their little holiday set. 
And I'm going to use Night Moth from MAC as my lip liner just because I'm feeling like a very dark, vampy lip today for some reason. I'm always feeling a dark, vampy lip recently. Um, yes, yes, freaking yes. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. I do need to put on setting spray. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. I will finish off the video with showing you guys my outfit. So yeah, I hope you guys like this look. It's a little bit more than I was planning on doing for today. Why are you screaming? It's a little bit more. I was just gonna do like something super simple, but how can you not put on a vampy lip when this is right here waiting for me? Like, it's so pretty. Okay, so I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a good weekend and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello again. So my tank top is from H&M. It's so cute. I love it so much. And then my flannel is from Target. And I just think they look so cute together. And I just tucked my little tank top into my jeans, which are also from Target. My boots are from Bass. I got them last year. And they're so comfortable and they're super warm. And I wore them with my little shorty jeans. Look at me doing a little cowboy dance. <laughs> then my necklace is from Boss Cubs. It was a gift from my mama. My nails, I have a pic on Instagram, and then the ring on my right hand, which is on the left for you guys, that was a gift from my grandparents from Greece, so sorry. People always ask me where it's from. And then my watch is a Michael Kors rose gold chronograph, and my bracelet is from Helen's Jewels, which I will link down below because she's amazeballs. My earrings are from Kenneth Cole, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I can't help it. This lip is so good. How can I not pose? Right? Like, I mean, wait. Oh, my God. This lip is so pretty. I just want to, like, do a thing. Right. No. I can do the booty pop. I can do a little twerking. Oh, oh. No, probably not. Probably not a good idea. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for today. Now I have an itch on my back. Okay, so apparently I'm just flashing everyone my tits. Why not? Why is the camera out? What the Oh god, the thirst is real. What am I even doing? You can't even see my face. <laughs> oh, Nicole, you're such a piece of trash. Trash. You're the real trash. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Why am I so itchy? It's like I have fleas. They're just everywhere. I mean, they're not really. Oh god. <laughs> That'll be the next thing about me. Nicole, I have some fleas. Fleas are burning. Oh my god, this lip is all. <laughs> you know you're down with that. Are you still down for me? This was again at home. Another night on your own. <laughs> So I always say that through the old crease. It's not an old crease. It's a middle-aged crease. It's a young crease, my shirt says. What are you even saying? <laughs> I'm down with this little palette. I am still I'm still down for you, little palette. Me and John B, we're still down for you. This could be my thumbnail. Oh, mother of my mom. Damn it. Oh, oh perfect. I smudged my nail polish. Stick that up your sweet little butt crack. I will.